Hello and welcome. I want to take a moment here just briefly to thank everybody who's been liking and subscribing. It helps us more than you know. It warms my heart knowing that these videos are helping everybody. That is my goal. I want to make sure that you're successful with direct to garment and dye sublimation and roll and print cut. These are this is why we make these videos. So thank you for watching. So we're going to talk about putting color on white shirts. We often get questions about how to get the most vibrant colors on your white shirts. You're going to see a little bit difference in white and darks. And you're going to see a lot of variations in Garment Creator too. Some that are too light where your blacks look gray and then some that are even too bright where your colors start to blend together. I'm going to show you the tricks on this Digital Monday. The first and most obvious way to get brighter colors is to pre-treat. The print on the left was not pre-treated, the print on the right was. Now you have to use pre-treat specifically formulated for white shirts, color ink only. I'm using universal pre-treat here. And spray it fast. I'm on speed 5, single pass. Epson pre-treat works well too, but you have to dilute it way down, maybe 5 or 10% concentrate. Now you can still run into some staining on a white shirt, so don't use too much heat and don't use too much concentrate. Now there's a pretty dramatic difference between a shirt that has been pre-treated and one that is not but you don't have to pre-treat to get good results. Without pre-treating at all, my friends at Epson's preferred settings are level three and then double strike color. Now the printer is going to lay down two passes. First pass is going to be a layer of color and then it's going to come back and do another. It looks really good. The colors are vibrant and the blacks are black. Now my favorite setting is level four with ink blot reduction. Now the F2100 is still going to do two passes, but it's going to lay down yellow first. This gets yellow the opportunity to dry and it won't blend with darker colors. It gives you crisp, clean results. Careful when removing your shirt off the platen, ink is wet and it, if it touches another part of the shirt it'll leave some marks. I dry at around 350 degrees for about 40 seconds, zero pressure. If you use too much heat, too much time and pressure, you're going to mute that ink and dull it way down. So if your prints are looking like the one on the left, try one of these three techniques and you're going to get considerably better results on your white shirts. All right. Now that looks good. The blacks are nice and black. The colors are nice and vibrant. That's how you do it on a white t-shirt. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We're going to see you next week. Who knows what will be on the docket. Maybe some dye sublimation. Maybe some Roland. It's all about having fun. Thanks for watching.